Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson all right so so far in the processing section and really any section of the course we're taking things in little bite-sized chunks so like one video at a time so with compression we focus on compression by itself eq by itself and so on but now let's say you're done you're done with your audio you're ready to apply all of your effects processing how do we do that all at once okay and then also what order do i put them in and why do i put them in that order so let's cover all that right now now there's a few ways to do this uh, but let's start with the long and drawn out way which is how most people will do it you're going to go to effect and the first effect we're going to add is eq so let me find tokyo dawn labs tdr nova and i I don't know why it's in this uh, this setting, but it's remembered this from something I've done previously. So I'm just going to go to presets, factory presets, and I'm just going to go to default and set it back to where it was originally. Now, remember, we're going to set this to out, turn EQ gain off. I'm just going to go to a high pass and just go up to 60, like we talked about in the EQ section and cut out all of that low end. And that's it. That's all we need to do with the EQ. So now I'm going to hit apply. Boom. Okay, so I cut out all that low end, and that's all I did there. But now we're going to go to effect. And the second thing we're going to add is your declicker for your mouth noise. So I'm going to go to RX10, um, declick. Here we go. It could You could either do declick or mouth declick. It depends on which um, – do you have RX elements or do you have RX standard? Okay, so let's just do elements because it's the one most people will go with because it's the most affordable. So RX10, declick. And remember, you want this on multi-band random clicks. That's what it was on, so we're good. Sensitivity at three, I'm going to hit apply. There we go. And, all right, next, we're going to go up here. And number three is your denoise tool. All right, so I'm going to go to isotope. And then I'm going to go to RX10 voice denoise. Now, you could use... RX voice denoise clarity from waves is an awesome denoise plugin. You could use the one that's free inside audacity, totally up to you, but I'm just going to use this one and let's just go to like seven hit apply. And that's assuming that you need a denoiser. Hopefully you don't. Um, then we're going to go to effect. And the last thing that we need to put in here is our compressor. So I'm going to go to compressor and then remember, we're going to set this to 12 noise floor, whatever your noise floor is. So I'm just going to go to 65. That's pretty much where mine's at. Ratio two to one, attack time all the way down to the left, release time all the way to the left. Don't check these boxes and you're going to hit apply. And there you go. There is your compression. Now, really, there is one last thing we want to apply. It's not really a plugin, but it's just called normalization. We're getting to normalization in a video in a little while, so just look out for, go look for normalization in the course. But really quickly, I'm just going to go here, volume and compression. I'm going to go down to normalize. I'm going to make sure normalize peak amplitude 2 is checked, and we're going to do negative 3 dB, hit apply, and boom, that's it. Our audition is now ready to send off. Um, and that's really all, all it takes. Now, there's another way to do this if you want. So let me undo everything I've done. Oh, redo that. Okay, the other way that you can do it is you can go over here to effects, select effects, add effects. And then you could go here and choose what effects you'd like to use. Like, let's just go ahead and put uh, TDR Nova on here. Nova, all right? And then, you know, your next effect could be, uh, you know, let's do the de-clicking because that's what goes next, all right? So let's find it, uh, de-click. 
And then the next effect would be your denoiser, right? So I would go and find isotope. Whoops. Here we go. Oh, where are you at? Oh, because I'm on VSD1. I need to go to 3 to find it. Okay, so here we go. RX10, voice, denoise, where are you at? There you are, right? And then we could go here. And the last thing we would do is, um, well, they don't even have it here. The last thing would be a compressor. Now, I think you might have to pull the compressor into Audacity somehow. But for sake of this tutorial, let me just go to VST3. Let me go to Tokyo Dawn Labs. TDR, uh, um, um. I don't really know how to pronounce that word, so I'm not going to butcher it. But this is a free, um, a free compressor that is in the same, uh, by the same company that makes TDR Nova. So if you wanted to just use this compressor, you could, right? So you would just do the same thing you do with TDR Nova, download it and pull it into Audacity. And then remember, you know, your threshold is going to be negative 12. So let's go negative 12, attack 10 milliseconds, release 100 milliseconds, ratio 2 to 1. So let's go back to 2 to 1. We don't want to be too aggressive here. Come on, come on. All right, whoop, there we go. Two to one. And uh, that's that's it. That's all you... Now I'm going to turn that off because that's something we don't need to worry about. It's an extra setting. Uh, and then that would be it. That would be your compression. And then, of course, you would finally want to normalize your audio. But I don't think you can do that. I think you have to um, do that from up here. But I wanted to show you this because this is how you can play through your audio with effects on your audio, right? So I can go and um, bring up TDR Nova and say, okay, I want to do... A high pass at 60, cool, D-click, um, I want to make sure this is multi-band random clicks, sensitivity 3, RX10 voice denoise, you know, I'm going to bring this down to like 7, and then TDR matlock, we already set those, and now that we have all of this on our audio, when we export it, it's going to apply all of this to our audio, okay, so that that's another way, I don't, I mean, you know, Audacity is free. And it's still working things out, and it's going to always be working bugs out of it. And they will perfect this, I'm sure, sometime soon. This, to me, is a little buggy right now at the time of recording this video. But whenever you're watching this, they may have fixed all the bugs over here. And, you know, one day when they do fix the bugs, I'll probably make a updated tutorial on how to do all of this over here. But that's a little quick uh, view of how to do this over here. So I'm just actually going to go out of that. But um, why do we put these effects in the order that we put them in? Okay, well... When you go up here and the first thing you do is you add um, TDR Nova. The reason we do TDR Nova first is if we're immediately cutting out all of this low end rumble in our audio, it, it immediately just helps clean our audio up in the low end. Okay, and the next would be your declicker. Well, if we're getting rid of the mouth noise and the mouth clicks in your audio, and then finally the third plugin you're putting on here is a voice denoise plugin, that denoiser is now not having to work nearly as hard because you've taken all that low end rumble out of your audio and you've taken the mouth clicks out of your audio. So now that denoiser isn't having to listen to mouth clicks and low end rumble and a noise that it's trying to get out of the audio and try and decipher how to do that without hurting the voice. Now you've already taken care of the low end rumble. You've taken care of the mouth clicks. So now the denoiser is like, oh, God, you just made my life so much easier. I now have an easier time figuring out what you want me to take out of your audio. And it's really that simple, that easy. That's why I do it in the order that I do it in. Um, so anyway, that's the effect stack. That's the order that I put it in. That's how you do it in real time. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.